if you're going to do something, give it your best shot or don't do it at all. And it's been a year and a half of Sheila Lives Out Loud and I'm so glad that we chose to do something and we're still giving it our very best shot week after week after week. We tell stories that matter because these stories need to be heard. We've spoken with so many different guests and each one has taught us to live. Music will always be part of my life. To love. Let us love our children. To grow. I can stand up and say, I'm an investor in Kenya. Some of the guests made us laugh. Cancer changes everything. Huh? Yeah, it be someone. There's no way you're going back to... Ah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this mighty dreadlocks. Yeah, as good as yours, almost. Yeah. <laughs> yes, clearly. I'm just uh, kidding. Get the man yeah. do the work, 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 work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Super classy. Wow. 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 They're Timo. And others made us cry. When I was eight months pregnant, um, this lady I came across in town, uh, who had also gone through similar a similar situation like I had and so she told me you know what I'll share your story with a friend of mine I don't know what he can do because you're almost due he can't give you a job but maybe he'll give you a job once you deliver but now how you'll deliver and where you'll be staying that's the most immediate thing that we need to think about mm. so he sent me to, to this friend of hers uh, it was a uh, Amhindi man and I remember when I went to Westlands, because I walked from town to Westlands Area Center, my feet were so swollen. Uh, I looked like I'll give birth the next minute. And then Hindi looked at me and told me, I'm so sorry, whose child are you? Mm. And I told him, uh, at the moment, I'm God's child. And forever. Please don't cry because you're going to make me cry. But as you take a breath, Natalie, I come to you. When you listen to how difficult it was for your mom, yes. how do you feel? I feel so sorry for her. I do too. I really do. But in having you here and seeing the poems and seeing how far you've come, you know that there's a bright future for you. Yes, I do. What do you want? for your future? What do you see for yourself? Um, I see Natalie performing, writing books, and being popular. We're all going to cry here. I was not supposed to cry, no, so... No. You're supposed to do what feels right. We did the first chemo, but the, the drama started that day. We went home. She was very cold. She falling. It's like I was half dead. I didn't even know where I was. Yeah, she was no cold. Talking. And mm -hmm. the first day, But each one of them left a mark. For freedom, there always has to be a price to pay. As long as you're constantly pursuing you know, knowledge and understanding of who you are and what you can offer this world, keep at it. Being able to relate with people from all over the world is an asset nowadays. Getting past an affair is not about putting the clock back to some Disney princess land. As long as there is life and someone can live another day, um, it is always precious. The first step to success is failure. I've never been a follower. I'm usually a leader. What the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. I'd just like to tell everybody, even in the midst of darkness, even in the midst of um, a harrowing life. Mm. Smile, because you're never alone. No. Our Father is with you. Each one continues to teach. I believe that you master one thing, become so good at that thing to where you can do it in your sleep. You become known for that. And then you start adding in little bits of your personality. But I wouldn't recommend going off and starting five different businesses at one time. I've walked in the shoes of parents of children with special needs. Actually, there is stigma in our society. I always say, these children are not the problem. We, the society, are the problem. I was totally worn out to an extent that the doctors were telling me I have three months to live. 
and now it's done it's nine years down the line from 2007 and I still thank God because at least I'm alive. Jesus wasn't a fool when he put it that I was in prison and you never visited me. My calling is in prison. Just seeing a woman transformed to a point of despair, hopelessness, she can sustainably take care of her children and not go back into imprisonment or into survival crimes gives me so much joy. God can use your story. He can turn your history and make it his story. Thank you so much to everyone who's made the time to sit and share with us on Sheila Lives Out Loud. I'm truly grateful and appreciate everything that you do and continue to follow you because your journey is now linked to us. The one thing you'd like to see if you could ever see me again. Oh, my daughter. Oh. <laughs> and a massive thank you to every subscriber on this channel. We truly couldn't have done it alone. So asante sana and please keep the love and support going. In today's age, it's easy to imagine that life's as perfect as the social media feeds we see. And when we compare our lives to everybody else who seems to be making it, it's easy to lose hope because life is not as perfect as what we see. And it's a privilege to be a part of a movement that's about authenticity, about living the life that you've been given. The good, the bad, the ugly, it is what it is. So let's live it like it is. Thank you to everyone who has been genuine and honest about sharing their experiences because in telling these stories, in seeing these experiences that many have been through, you have inspired others to know that if nothing else, you owe it to yourself to keep the faith and keep going. We're working on season four and giving you the chance to tell your story too. If you'd like to join us or maybe you know someone with a story to share, do get in touch via all my social media and the email address on your screen as well. It is a great time to be alive. It is a wonderful time to be you. So in all things, let's live out loud.